Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Talk Time with Pastor Krista on Friday morning. We made it through this week and it's Friday already. So you can see I have some really neat things in front of me and I will explain all of this to you in a minute. But boys and girls, I want you to take a look at my shirt. I got this shirt when I was with a lot of other ministers and they were selling these and I picked one up because I loved what it said on the front of it. First of all, it's in the shape of a cross, but let's take a look at what it says and I'm gonna read it upside down. My shirt says, embrace diversity, protect the environment, fight for the powerless, and then it says, care for the poor, reject racism, do justice, love mercy, heal the sick, and walk humbly with your God. And if you look down the middle, it says, be the church. And if you look across in red, it says the United Church of Christ, which is the church that I am blessed to be called to be a pastor in. But be the church, what does that mean? Being the church means that we need to put God in our lives before we do anything else, if we are going to do what Jesus Christ asked us to go out into the world and do. But it isn't always easy to put God first in your life. So sometimes I keep little reminders around me that I need to do that. And one of them is my bracelet. This bracelet says, I am second. Now, why would I wear a bracelet that says I'm second? Because it's a constant reminder for me that God needs to be first in my life. And then I need to take care of myself so I can take care of everyone I love and want to love. But how do we do that? It's a little difficult to do that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a little example here of what happens when you put God first in your life. So let's say that this empty vase, this empty pitcher, is your life. And in this one, all this white, all this sugar, the sweet things in life, are all the things that you fill your life up with. So let's take all the things we fill our life up with and put it into the glass pitcher that represents our life. So I want you to watch what happens. So as I'm pouring this, I want you to think of all the things you fill your life up with. You fill your life up with your family and your friends. Maybe you take dance lessons or music lessons or sports. You're on a football team or a hockey team or a soccer team. Maybe you cannot wait to have that play date with your friends. And all of these things, your school, even your church, right up to the very top. Now, if you take a look at this, it's filled to the brim. If we try to take God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, so all three, remember the Trinity, is all God together, and we try to put God in our life then, what happens? If I look at it straight on, wow, God doesn't really fit in my life perfectly because I filled it up with all these other things. Even though they're sweet things and they're good things, I can't really fit God right into my life because I filled it up with other things first. So what we are going to do is take the sugar and pour it back. And instead of putting all the sweet, good stuff in your life first, I'm going to put the sweetest, best thing in my life first. And that is God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier. And I'm going to put that in my life first. Now, if this is in my life first, and when this was in my life first, I couldn't fit it all in, I should have sugar running over the top, right? But watch what's going to happen. With God in my life first, I can fill my life up with all those other wonderful things I have in my life. My family, my friends, my play dates, my dance classes, my football games, my hockey games, my soccer games, my music lessons. And if I'm really, really careful, oh, look, 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 look. I'm gonna just shake it down a little bit. Shake it a little bit. If I'm super, super careful, oh, it's falling over a little. There we go. I can fit all of it into my life and God is in there first. So this is a really good visual reminder of us to keep God first in our life because when we do that, we have a really good foundation. I'm gonna read you a little piece of scripture today 
And this piece of scripture is taken again from the book of Matthew. And this is what it says. It says, God already knows perfectly well the things that you need, and God will give them to you if you give God first place in your life. So the good things that we need in our life, the good things like family and friends and friendship and feeling loved and safe and secure and cared for, that will be in your life if you put God in your life first. And sometimes when God is in your life, you can't even really see God working around because remember, God is down there. God is the foundation of your life. You can't see God, but you know God is there and your life will be very full, filled, overflowing with goodness. And that leads me to our song today. It's a very short song. I'm only going to sing the chorus of the song. And maybe next week, we'll take a look at some of the verses of the song when Kathleen and Michael can join me because I would need more voices. But the verse or the chorus of this song is fill my cup. And this is how it goes. Oh, fill my cup, fill my cup, let it overflow. Oh, fill my cup, fill my cup, let it overflow. Oh, fill my cup, fill my cup, let it overflow, let it overflow with love. So my prayer for you as you go into your weekend is that you put God first in your life, that you remember God is the Father, God is the Son, Jesus Christ, and God is the Holy Spirit. And all together this makes up God that moves all around us. And I want you to pour that in your life first so your cup overflows. And I hope this weekend you can see some ways that your cup overflows with God's goodness. So as we leave today, here is our benediction. And it says, my heart loves your heart because Jesus first loved us. God bless you all and have a good weekend.